I got the video from earlier uploading. It is now 3 o'clock, so we'll have a um, video with our plans this weekend from earlier, already uploaded. So this is going to be video two for the day. They're getting the motor mug there and getting it for the weekend. Right All right, motor's going back in. Just a little bit scared there. What do y'all think? I think the biggest thing we got clean the end of it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so no working on lines. The motor is in. Now just gotta get it all plumbed up and all radar on and all the bolts on on, but they're working on getting a hose done right now. Yep. Jump. All right, let's take a look at it. Is it straight? Yeah. Jump right here. There you go. All right, that's good. Good job. All right, guys, so we've only raced three times this year, so we haven't had a doing an oil change just yet but once again all this the filter and the oil came off the amazon wish list uh thanks to hydraulic services of florida uh for sending us this the filter and all we appreciate that it greatly helps out if you guys are interested in that anymore we still have that on the amazon wish list so uh, I'll put a link to the wish list right up here. I'll try to. If you hadn't already seen it, you can always go on there and check it out and see what all we got on there. Uh, it's things like that that just kind of help things go out, go throughout the year. Uh, a lot of people requested that in off season, so we started doing that, and we have had a ton of support from that, and we greatly appreciate each and every one who have uh, donated parts or products or things to us. Maggie's out there on her power wheels, and she is stuck. She's trying to get it going. Looks like she figured it out, maybe. Yeah, she got it going. So, anyways, we're going to get in here and get the oil changed. Still waiting on one spacer there for the oil pump before we can crank it. So we're not putting the carburetor and on the fuel, fuel log or nothing on. <clears throat> I did get the rear quarter panels and the spoiler back on. Well, still got to put the little side spoiler there, but it's okay. I uh, got all the rear suspension back under it. Got the axles in it. I'm actually about to put the rear tires on. I'm going to finish up this oil change. I got still got to drain the oil out of the pan, uh, put the new filter on it, and then I can start putting the new oil in. And I'll go ahead and have it primed up, make sure we don't have no oil leaks, and go from there. And I'll probably start checking the front suspension then. By that time, hopefully Brandon's back with the spacer for the oil pump, and we can fire it up here shortly and get it loaded up tonight and be ready to go for tomorrow all right guys so they're still working on getting everything bolted on and ready working on old lines and all the fun stuff the stuff they really enjoy doing right chris and brandon I love it. I love is it your favorite thing? favorite thing that top looks good don't you? yeah the top looks real good top well somewhat topless i guess we just put that on there i know people have said before well that kind of defeats the whole purpose of being topless well, you're exactly right, but that is a safety deal is all that is. That's for nothing other than safety. Uh, just making sure that something doesn't come in through the top of that halo. Because let me get over here and show you how big those holes are on that halo for something to come in. Like a piece of lead that somebody didn't put on their car or whatever the case may be. So that is a huge 
hole. So we put that there just to protect brass. It serves, serves no other purpose. Uh, but we had that comment so many times last year. Come through and hit the roof cap and folded the roof up. And I mean, that was just a wheel cover. I thought it was a piece of lead. No, no, it wasn't a, it wasn't a piece of lead. Um, and then something, did, didn't something come through the side over here one day? I thought it did. But anyway, so we put that up there just to protect the driver. Um, so the more you know. Uh, but they're gonna finish up getting the motor fastened in, get it ready to go. Brad's starting to get spoiler and all the odd and end stuff back on. We've already got this quarter panel on and that side over there back on. I think Chris was working on this earlier. Uh, maybe, I know he took off the roof, uh, but he's got that on, that was off as well, so. Really They're making some making some progress. Making some progress. A lot of progress compared to what it looked like this morning. But we're ready to go racing. Almost. Alright, so Brad's getting the um what's this called? Spoiler back on. Spoiler sides back on. My brain just uh fried. We're watching the Eldora Dream on the TV. So Working on a race car with you. <clears throat> All right, looks like Brandon's ready to start bolting the carburetor on. It's getting close. It's something for you, Brandon. <laughs> I ain't got the safety system. The what? Safety. Safety. Yeah. You remember it had a lever right here? Well, he just cuts it off the screwdriver. Oh. I didn't know that it had anything. That's uh, Chris's uh, lawnmower bush hog. Yeah, that's the only way you can crank it. Look at Superman going to leave. Oh, it's just not sure. All right, y'all, tires are going on. Chris is hustling. He's got to work tomorrow. He's ready to go in and go to bed. Motor's in. It's running. We cranked it. I did not get that on video. I'm sorry. They crunk it for just a minute and cut it back off just to make sure everything was good with oil pressure and all that stuff since we did change the oil pump. Um, so basically, we pulled a motor to change the oil pump in the oil, right? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and then put it back in. So, same motor. This is the spec motor. Just got a different oil pump in. It's got the oil pump for the super motor, so once we get the super motor, we'll be ready. Now Brad decides he's gonna hammer out some body panels. All right. All right guys, so that's gonna finish us up tonight. Car is in the trailer, loaded up. Everything's loaded and ready to go. Motor, we crunk it, let you guys know that. We didn't get it on video because it was just a short crank. Um, just kind of been trying to crunch and get everything done and loaded tonight so we didn't have to worry about it tomorrow because we are going to have to leave around lunch tomorrow. I'm out of breath because we've been loading the race car. Um, and it's just the two of us out here right now because his dad had to go in and then go to bed because he's got to be at work at like 5.30 in the morning. Um, so anyway, I was going to finish this up. We will see you guys tomorrow at Duck River Raceway Park in Duck River, Tennessee. It's about a three-hour ride for us. Uh, we're excited to make our first trip over there to race. We went over there for, I think, a World of Outlaw race one time, and it rained out after hot lap. So we've never really seen a race over there, so we're excited to, to go. Um, thanks to all of our partners, Work Speed Performance Parts, Barry Apparel Co., KT Heating and Air, All South Signs and Graphics by BB Designs, Hammers Graydon, Fat Daddy's Corotta Lafayette, Indiana, Penske Racing Trucks, Gorsuch Performance, Brand Transmission, and Vincent Racing. Just thanks to all those guys that make it possible for us to race. Thanks to Ray Young for sending us a little extra cash this week to help us out getting up and down the roads. Appreciate that. Um, but we will see you guys tomorrow. Duck River Raceway Park. Be sure you guys come out and see us. We will have our merch there. We will have a little bit of a skeleton crew with us. Um, his dad has to work tomorrow so he won't be able to make the ride joel won't be there his mom won't be there maggie's gonna stay with them because we just won't have very many people and i don't feel comfortable with her going 
and not having a whole lot of eyes on her. So she's gonna stay here with them. Um, it's gonna be me, Brad, Katie, Dustin, Brandon, maybe one more. Uh, but we appreciate all of you guys watching. We hope you guys are excited about getting back to racing as we are. This week, we'll start our swing. Next week, we're off, and then we race for four weeks, three weeks straight. Sonoa, Wartburg, and Smoky Mountain all out of town, so we're excited to get to that. We love out-of-town racing. But we'll see you guys tomorrow, Duck River Raceway Park.